this video tutorial we look at new features associated with revision STEM planning available from version 6.3. We've already pre-selected and positioned as if we were doing a total knee replacement, in this case on short knee images. The procedure's been selected on the blue man, a total knee replacement on the left and a template has been selected. Two images have been opened, they've been scaled, taken to planning where femoral and tibial wizards have been placed in both views for sizing and positioning of the templates and then taken to the templating screen. Because the number of parameters associated with the femoral and tibial stems is greater than normal, separate tabs have been arranged for both stems and you can move between them. A selection needs to be made in all red boxes and until this is done in both the femoral and the tibial areas the templates will still be in the pale colour. Choose the femoral component and also select something in each box to complete the template. Templates appear on the screen and if no femoral component needs to be revised, it can be hidden by right-clicking and choosing Show. And just to make it easier to view the changes in the tibial component, this can be done in either screen. To return it to the screen, just choose Show with the icon here next to the Properties menu. At the moment, there is no stem offset shown. If we wish to choose an adapter in either the femoral or the tibial component, we select Adapter and an option list from unrestricted through to various offsets appears. In the unrestricted mode, clicking on the image and moving the stem to an appropriate position gives an indication here how much medially, in this case, it's necessary to move to centralise the stem and at the same time a choice can then be made for the offset. This can also be done in the lateral view as needed. The vector diagram represents the combined outcome of the two views. So moving to the tibial component, selecting and again adjusting only happens if the adapter is selected. Tibial extension can be modified if needed and adjusted just as previously by choosing the unrestricted mode and moving the stem to suit. 2.2 millimeters is shown here and choosing 2 being the closest will move to that position. To view unrestricted in the lateral view again select and view to see what position is needed, perhaps 4. The combined value of the two offsets is then displayed on the tibial plateau graphic. It's possible to view the report with all of the different extension sizes and stem options selected, any planning results that are available, print is possible, or saving out as a JPEG, but primarily saving or committing to the packs, which can of course also be reviewed later in the packs or brought back into AutoView. This completes the tutorial on revision stem features added to total knee components.